What's up everybody, it's Mike from HighSideMoto.com. I got a really quick and easy one for you today. I'm gonna to change the oil in my KTM 525 EXC RFS motor. So if you have that bike, or if you're just curious how to change the oil on that bike, uh, stay tuned. This is a really easy procedure, and most likely you guys already know how to change the oil on your bike. But even if there's just a couple of you out there who need a little bit of guidance, this video is for you. So let's go ahead and get started. When I change my oil, I like to use a wheel chalk. You don't necessarily have to. Using the side stand is perfectly fine. Next thing I like to do is turn the gas on, get the bike started. I'll immediately turn the gas off uh, and let the bowl drain and the bike die. This just gets the oil warmed up so it flows a little bit better when it's draining. I do have a skid plate. My skid plate does allow you to remove the, the bottom filter screen and the drain plug without taking the skid plate off, but I like to take it off because when you take out the filters on the side of the bike, uh, oil will collect on top of that skid plate, so it's just a good habit to take it off. If you're looking around this, on this video, you know you can definitely tell my bike's really dirty. I definitely should have cleaned it before I went ahead and changed this oil. It's just good practice before you do any maintenance to keep your bike clean. Next up, you're going to take the oil out, drain the oil out, so this is a 13 millimeter socket on the bottom. When you get that drain plug out, it does have a magnet on the end and, and it's very normal to see some small metal particulate on the end of that drain plug on that magnet. If you see some, you know, some large metal shavings or some chunks, that might be a little bit more of a concern. You might want to take that into the dealer, get a second opinion, just take a picture in and see what they say. Since I am using the wheel chalk, I, I do kind of tip my bike to the left, gets every last bit of oil out of there. If you're on your kickstand, then you're already leaning over, no big deal, you're already, you're already doing that. As you can see here, I have the crush washer on the left side, and I've already cleaned off the drain plug on the right. Moving over to the side, you have the side oil filter screen. This is the long filter screen. This is going to be a 13 millimeter socket again. Loosen that up, take out the screen. On the screen, um, just set it to the side for now. Take out the bottom screen. This is going to be an 8 millimeter Allen head. It's a little bit tricky to get in there. It is at a bit of an angle, uh, which can be tricky to get your, your socket aligned. I did use brake fluid to clean it off. Uh, once you get that out, set that to the side. Again, you shouldn't see too big of chunks on there, but if you do, uh, maybe get, take it to the dealer and get another opinion. I'll take some compressed air, I'll blow it through both screens. I'll blow it from the inside first to blow any chunks out. I'll also run it over the front, over the faces of it, just to get anything off the surface. Before you reinstall the screens, definitely check out the long one. It is not uniform on both sides. There's kind of a thicker end and a thinner end. That thinner end goes in towards the bike and that thicker end stays out at the cap. Moving, so get all that reinstalled and then move over to the side. Take out your oil filter caps. Uh, there's two oil filters on the KTM RFS. These are eight millimeter sockets. Get all those loosened up. That first bottom one's a little bit of a pain to get to. Use some pliers, take the caps off. Once you get the caps off, it's pretty simple to take out the filters if you have some circlip pliers. Just kind of push them in there and open them up and it kind of grips them pretty well. So set those to the side. Again, you can see some oil spilling off the out of those holes. That, that's what uh, will collect on top of your skid plate if you haven't taken it off. For this oil change, I'm using the high flow oil filters, the back ones in that shot, the red one for the long filter, and then the kind of orangish beige for the short filter. Uh, I also have used Tusk. I don't really have an opinion one way or the other. Uh, get those installed. Apply some oil to the, the rubber sealant face before you put them in there and just kind of move them around as you push them in. So put the caps back on there. Before you put the drain plug back on, it's a good idea to clean off that face. So as long as the motorcycle form has been around, the great oil debate has been raging. What kind of oil should I use in my bike? Should I use synthetic? What weight should I use? Should I follow the manual? I take a pretty simplistic approach. I've tried a couple different things. I started with the Rotella Traditional, the good old Dino Rotella. Uh, I switched over to the synthetic Rotella T6, used that for a little while. And finally, I just kind of settled on using whatever the manual says for the right weight in a synthetic oil. So in this case, I just ran down to Cycle Gear. I picked up some Castrol, 10W50 for the KTM, and this is what we're going to be using today. So this last part's really easy. Put a funnel in the oil fill port. Uh, the KTM RFS takes 1.25 quarts of the 10W50 oil. Um, go ahead and just dump it in there, really. There's not really any trick to it. Once you get it all filled up, you know, put the cap back on the fill port. Warm the bike up. Once the bike's warm, what you kind of want to see is you want to see that oil about halfway up that sight glass, um, right at when the engine's warm. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone who tunes in. For more how-to videos, product reviews, and ride reports, go on over to highsidemoto.com and check it out. Thanks again, and we'll catch you next time.